Goats are among the most chaotic, mischievous, and, if we're feeling dramatic, evil animals on the planet. While we may never truly understand their motives or their agenda, we can experience what a day in the life of a goat is like thanks to video games. However, when Goat Simulator was released in 2014, it divided opinion, with many simply calling it a poor quality product. But its popularity on social media would result in a considerable financial achievement, with the game making over 12 million US dollars. So let's take a look at how Goat Simulator was a huge success, despite it being controversial. But beware of minor spoilers from here on out. Goat Simulator, having the word simulator in the title, might make you think that it's an accurate true-to-life emulator of ordinary real-world activities. However, there is not a single thing about Goat Simulator that is taken seriously. You may have already guessed that in the game you play as a goat, but what you might not have predicted is how incredibly cursed that goat named Pilgor is. It seems that Pilgor is not only able to defy the laws of physics, but she can also cheat death itself. Incredibly true to real life, your goat's only objective is to cause as much havoc and mayhem as goatly possible. For this, you are given free reign over a quiet suburban town and a peaceful bayside city, full of hazardous objects to interact with. As you go about your goat adventures, you will use your goat's two main abilities, including headbutting anything in your way, and licking everything else. Doing so will earn you points, and like all good video games, the higher your score, the better gamer you are. The game also lets you perform wicked goat acrobatics and parkour, such as doing flips, walking on your front legs, and even wall running. But to witness the full glory of the game's goat physics engine, you can toggle on your ragdoll mode. Players can also try and pull off impressive and often crazy feats within the sandbox environment. Many of these were also given humorous name challenges that reference goats and popular culture, which would be greatly appreciated by the player. The result is Goat Simulator is incredibly self-aware, and it's almost as if the developers are interacting directly with the player. This is done by anticipating what you will do in the game, while also including small details and jokes for you to pick up on. When Goat Simulator was released, some players absolutely loved it and thought it was an incredibly clever concept. Others, however, categorically hated it and considered it nothing more than a broken and buggy mess of a game. To understand the controversy surrounding Goat Simulator, it's important to understand where the idea came from. The prototype was the result of a game jam session where developers make a game from scratch within a limited time frame. The idea was simple. It's an old-school skating game, but instead of Tony Hawk, you play as a goat. Goats were chosen because it was believed they would be popular on the internet and have the potential to go viral. Which is exactly what would happen. Initially, there was no intention for a full release of the game, which was still only at the prototype stage. However, upon posting footage of the gameplay to YouTube, it got over a million views in two days, implying there was a clear demand for such a title. When it was decided to develop the game further, the developers observed that the fun and the appeal came from the game's glitches. They therefore decided to only fix the issues that caused the game to crash, leaving everything with the physics engine untouched. This is why the physics interactions in the game feel highly exaggerated. For example, you might slightly move your boat forward, only to lightly clip an object that then takes out the entire room of breakable objects and people. These glitches and rather unconventional physics were what allowed players to emulate the chaotic destruction goats are infamous for. This in turn allowed for a comedic experience and gave Goat Simulator its unique charm that is beloved by many players. However, in comparison to other games, Goat Simulator could also be seen as nothing more than a novelty joke. Many critics also justifiably stated that the game lacks substance and rely too heavily on the GOAT's gimmick and social media for its popularity. 
all these reasons, Goat Simulator was considered to be disruptive to the industry as it went against the typical formula. Even to this day, its reception is divisive among both game critics and players, with neither reaching a consensus. If you do find, however, that your experience of Goat Simulator was not as good as you expected, you can always pay a visit to the in-game development offices of Coffee Stain Studios and let them know your frustration in person. Or rather, as a goat. A great open world game is one that rewards you for exploring and taking the time to admire the hard work put into the game. One of the best ways to achieve this is by filling the world full of easter eggs and secrets for players to find. Goat Simulator features a wide variety of places to discover. These range from the regular and ordinary places that you would expect to find in a small town, to the outright absurd that would make you want to run in the opposite direction as fast as possible. <laughs> Many of these places were simply included in the game to enhance the physics gameplay. An example is the low gravity center where your goats can experience weightlessness, and there are even skate park ramps that pay homage to the game's initial concept. Upon further exploring, you'll likely visit high rise construction sites, where you can use your goats' excellent climbing skills to reach the top. You'll also find gas stations, also known as petrol stations, that are highly volatile and a small nudge can send you into space. There is also an alternative method to reach space, which involves you placing a bacon-based beacon within some strange crop circles in a field. You'll then be abducted by extraterrestrial visitors in their UFO spaceship. Goat Simulator also maybe surprisingly has lore, and you can visit the Infernal Throne where you can become queen of all goats. The other goats will bow in your honour, but this might be just so that you don't end up sacrificing them to the goat's devil. While these are just a few examples of things you are likely to encounter in this very serious simulator game, there are hours of playtime to be had in this open world that constantly rewards your creativity and exploration. While goats may think of themselves as the superior beasts of the animal kingdom, their lack of self-preservation is often their downfall. Luckily goats have many distant relatives that they can call on when they find themselves in a challenging situation. Goat Simulator allows you to apply various mutators, which you unlock by collecting the golden goat trophies hidden around the world. These will enhance your goat and apply unique changes to your gameplay experience. For example, you might find that your goat is rather vertically challenged and is unable to reach the best leaves at the top of trees. In this case, they might reach out to the tall goat variant, also known as the giraffe. Goat Simulator also proves that with skill, it's possible that goats can fly and you can embrace that in a bird. For this, you'll want to become the feather goat, or maybe better known as the ostrich. If for whatever reason you would like to experience the rather sad and distressing experience of being a whale beached on land, you can even become the giant goat. It even has unique special abilities that you can activate for exciting gameplay. The inclusion of these different varieties of goats in the game have the benefit of giving players more creative freedom. They can also be quite hilarious, especially the goat with the jetpack. Whether or not Goat Simulator is the game for you, it is the perfect example of how a game can be unconventional and still be popular as well as financially successful. While it may have pushed the limits on the phrase it's not a bug, it's a feature, its physics-bending gameplay will provide players with hours of cursed Goat Entertainment. <laughs>